this me or does the movie theater look like it's shut down? It looks like it's oh, shut it's down. shut down for sure. There's no movies playing here, people. Okay. <laughs> when, when you find one in your... More lineup for fuel. We are here because Hurricane Irma is a very large and powerful Category 5 storm. And we do expect to have some impact from the storm beginning on Friday. There is still time to get what you need. Food, water, medicine, batteries, flashlights, and materials are running out. 10 pieces per person, so 50 people left. And we'll be able to fly with them. School's already been canceled in Broward County for Thursday and Friday. The first and best place to shelter is with family or friends and outside of an evacuation zone. If you do plan on coming to the shelter, bring everything that you need to be comfortable. Another day in this long freaking waiting game of Hurricane Irma. Now in this location here, this is our place, one thing that worries me is this tree. I really hope it doesn't fall over because that would suck. But fuel's running out, food's running out, water's running out, out of all the stores as you saw on the news this morning. And it's a shit storm and it's coming and it is flipping humid today. Extremely humid, that's gotta be from that water from that storm just offshore. Scary. Now my family in Canada found out about this storm and now they're tripping out because you know, stuff like this does not happen in Canada and I'm very far away from home. So I don't blame them for tripping out. My dad texted me in the middle of the night last night and told me that I should leave today. I can't. <laughs> I got work here still. We don't even know if it's going to hit. I don't know, but I don't know what to do. Bradley's not even scared or worried about it at all. And judging by what I saw on the news this morning, it looks like by the time he gets here, it will be category three out of five. Roughly, I mean, we're close, we're south. I mean, we're only 45 minutes away from Miami, which is really far south. Like if it hits, it's gonna hit hard and like, I'm so scared, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know what it's gonna be like. But I've actually burnt like an eighth of a tank of gas since yesterday, so I'm gonna try and find some on my way to work, but I doubt I'll be successful. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's red tags on all the pumps on that gas station where I was yesterday. So that means there's no fuel left there. And I got thinking about my family, and then nothing screams Alberta, Canada like some Faith Hill. Love me. Yes. Okay, I just left work and my boss was nice enough to let me off and all of us off for the rest of the week. Cut us our checks and let us go so we can prepare as best as we can for this thing to come. It's still a category five. I've been watching live streams on Facebook in like Puerto Rico where it's not even, the eye is not even hitting and it's a nightmare. It tipped, I was watching this live stream where it tipped a bus over and people tied shirts and blankets together and tied it to the inside of a building and were hanging on arm in arm like a human chain link fence to go out to this bus and pull people out of this tipped over bus and pull them back into the building. It was, it was crazy. And winds are, you know, at 185 miles an hour still. It's the strongest storm to have ever formed in the Atlantic. There was only one stronger called Hurricane Allen back in the 1980s. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's crazy, I'm gonna go, you know, get some cash right now and uh, figure out exactly what's, what's in store. I, we have food and water, but I'm starting to realize that I might wanna get like a first aid kit Maybe an axe, maybe you know a really good knife, like a pocket knife of some sort. Maybe some sandbags, I don't know. Um, Bradley says, oh, we don't need any of that stuff, but I'm just, I'm stressed and I would rather have it than not have it, right? So, we'll see. Track those vehicles up and at least they would be up 16 or 20 inches off the main pavement level, you know? Yeah, off the ground, that's not a bad idea. Um, apparently- like Jack them up and then well, there. Especially, especially Brad's car, it's low, right? Oh, that car's fucking, yeah, it scrapes off of like curbs and shit. It's so low to the ground. All right, so I'm back home. Bradley and I just ate some sushi. We've been eating some really good food over the last couple nights just to make sure that we have a few good meals on us before this hurricane comes. But now we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive and see what we can see.
We're out here now at the Fort Lauderdale Beach, checking out the moon and it's all of its prettiness. Very pretty night tonight. Soon, in a couple days, this place is gonna be a catastrophe. People are not gonna be around here. But we saw a few places that were being boarded up and uh, there's actually some people here right now with grocery bags, filling them up with sand to bag, to sandbag their house from the beach. Which I suppose is better than nothing, but I don't think that's gonna work. There's some landing off in the distance. I think it's Irma, Bradley assures me it's not. But uh, we will see. Thank you all for watching. Throw me a thumbs up if you like this video. Tweet me some suggestions at Dale and Gerard. Subscribe for a good time. And I will see y'all tomorrow, man. Peace. Does me or does the movie theater look like it's shut down? Yeah, it like oh, it's shut, shut down. down for sure. There's no movies playing here, people. Okay. <laughs> when you're one in here. Our lineup for fuel. Our psychics boarded up.